In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pop colors using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? Drew here, back with another video. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use an image from DeviantArt.com. And if you want to use the same image, the download link is in video description. So feel free to check it out. Now, before you start editing this or following this tutorial, uh, I'm gonna edit this JPG into raw settings. Now, if you have Photoshop CC, there is a filter like there is like camera raw filter, so you can use that. But if you don't have CC or you have something like CS5 or CS6, you can go to edit preferences and then go to camera raw and in the camera raw make sure that in the jpg option here you have selected automatically open all supported jpgs and then hit ok so after that when you will go to file and open the image so here this is the stock image that we are going to use and open it it will automatically open it inside camera raw even if you have cs5 6 no matter what so this is the camera raw and here is where all the editing is gonna happen uh, most of so first of all uh, always try with the auto but as always auto just gave us a finger so it doesn't matter so I'm gonna go with default and in the exposure I think I'm gonna bring it up a little bit or actually you know what uh, let's keep the exposure for the end so you can get the idea now uh, the contrast uh, is a little bit too much for what I need so I'm gonna decrease the contrast a little bit and then I will try to increase the highlights a touch uh, not too much uh, keep it under 10 like 8 9 that seems fine and then I'm gonna uh, increase the shadow not too much uh, just a little this are like I already know what I did but if you are doing it on some different image always go something like dish and then come back uh noticing like how much do you need so let's go to shadows and something like that uh seven six that's um, that seems fine and in the whites i'm gonna decrease the white so that we can see those details in the background as you can see as i'm decreasing the whites the details appear and here they gone here they are see here notice here see they're coming back like that so don't do it too much i'm gonna keep it to let's say 80 percent or let's say 85 okay i'm gonna be generous minus 85 sorry <laughs> minus 85 so in negative we gotta bring those down and in the blacks i'm gonna increase it slightly because the area near her hair seems a bit much or you can also decrease it if you want some contrasty look so let's try the contrast one and decrease it a bit more not too much otherwise it will affect the skin negatively so keep it under control so as you can see it looks fine and now it comes to vibrance now i will not add the clarity because it's a really beautiful lady on a beach so i, I don't want to make it like really hard or something like that no 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 uh, let's i'm just gonna increase the vibrance uh, and the good thing is that photo is already dull so you can add a lot of colors as your as per your taste so that's really helpful I'm gonna go with like let's say 75 uh, yeah seems fine okay bit too much uh, let's go with the 70 uh, this thing will take trial and error as you know and now let's go to the curves the regular curves and let's uh, play around with the highlights so as you can see, uh, I'm gonna add slight more highlights or maybe kill it. Uh, I think killing it works fine. And let's look at the lights. Okay, no. Uh, slight amount of lights, not too much. And let's go with the darks. So the thing with darks is that uh, I might wanna add them a little. Minus three, I mean remove it. So make things slightly darker. And let's lift up the shadows. Uh, or maybe you know what decrease the shadows because it's giving really nice contrast and then I'm gonna lift up the dark so that we can balance out the shadows it always works like it, it you will need practicing but all I'm trying to do is like tell you like what how everything works okay so as you can see the shadow is giving it contrast and at the same time dark is helping us to keep that in balance so that it doesn't look like doesn't overkill otherwise see it's dull but it will help us to keep the balance so the curves thing is done so let's look at the difference what we made it's a subtle but yeah still better more 
slightly brighter and contrasty see it looks nice and you can always like decrease the highlights a touch or maybe increase it's all per your taste okay so curves are done and it's time to go to play with some saturation so this fourth icon is for saturation third one is for sharpening I i'm not gonna sharpen anything so i'm gonna use the fourth one for the saturation and luminance so make sure you have selected the saturation tab and in the saturation i'm gonna first add a bit more red because there is slight red in her dress the tint and obviously her beautiful red hair so i obviously want to make them pop because those are the highlights of the image so 60 percent seems fine don't overkill it otherwise it will also ruin the skin tone uh, and then i'm gonna go to my blues and increase the blues so as you can see the sky and the ocean in the background how beautifully they pop like this is the stroke and it will only work if you do your job better here okay so let's go back here and i'm also gonna add a bit more aquas so it's subtle difference but also really nice so it's up to you how much you need it and i think the red was a bit more strong so i'm gonna go here and let's keep it to 50 percent yeah seems decent so let's turn it on and off yeah already looks beautiful and now it's time to do some split toning so split toning is basically we're gonna add a certain color in shadows and a certain color in highlights so they have to be opposite so it will create a good contrast and good difference so here, here's how we're gonna do it okay in the highlights i'm gonna use a yellowish tone uh, and i'm gonna increase my saturation it will not show the effect unless you increase the saturation so uh, i think 15% uh, seems fine or maybe let's go to the 24 uh, yeah 25 seems fine and in the colors uh, play around until you get the one you need uh, it will take practice as i'm saying and in the shadows uh, let's go and i'm gonna make it blue and let's increase the saturation yeah seems nice uh, the skin tone is not as good as i expected but well it takes time so let's zoom out and uh, let's see uh, can we increase it a bit more no i think 25 for it also works nice so let's look at the preview it's very subtle but it looks nice and in the balance i'm gonna make it slightly more yellowish uh, not too much uh, let's keep it to 15 and that seems really nice and yellow is mostly for making her skin and the sand a uh, really nice pop out uh, but you can also like decrease the saturation if you think it's way too strong so let's give it 20 yeah that seems decent so this is a flat image but this gives it some kind of feeling uh, and this seems uh, we, our job is done here so let's look at you can click on this icon and see like camera or defaults so this is the one we started with and this is we are right now so this is the halfway we are through the effect now when you say think okay my job is done here and you want to open this inside photoshop so what you do is instead of directly clicking on open image you hold down your shift key so it will turn into open object and then click on it so it will open it inside the photoshop now here's the benefit uh, because we open it as an object when I double click on this thing it will again open the camera raw and I can edit it anytime I want even after saving and closing the file so that's one really big benefit now it's time to do some color correction inside Photoshop which one we could have done in camera raw but they are just a lot easier and time saving here so I'm gonna go here to my adjustment layers and select where is it color balance and first of all i'm gonna focus on the what do you call sky and ocean so i want to pop them so i'm gonna go to shadows and add a little bit of blue uh, don't worry about the rest of the image just focus on the sky and the water and then i'm gonna go to highlights and then i'm gonna add a bit more blue uh, so that seems nice it might look terrible but after it will look good so this is good now as you can see we have this layer mask here and our brush tool here it's on normal with 100% opacity and make our brush tool bigger so i'm gonna make it bigger uh, okay a lot bigger yeah something like that and then i'm gonna just simply remove it from the bottom area and when it comes here make it smaller i'm using my bracket keys big bracket and small bracket to make it small and big so i'm gonna remove it from her face 
her hair and sand uh, okay not too much uh, I wanna add a bit more here uh, so it blends better close this thing so now if I turn it on and off it only and only affects the sky and water and let's remove it from here some to remove it you remove it with uh, black color and if you want to add it you paint with white color it's really simple uh, basic of maskings so I can remove it from here a little bit or looks good now we're gonna create another adjustment layer and then this time I'm gonna select color balance and we're gonna go to our shadows and add touch blue you might think why blue uh, there's a reason uh, for darker parts I need blue to balance things and then I'm gonna go to my highlights and then I'm gonna add a bit more red and let's add slight yellow not too much be careful with these things okay and preserve luminosity or not it's up to you preserving luminosity will uh, give it a bit more punch uh, contrast so I'm gonna go with preserve and then let's keep it uh, minus six looks good and then for red i'm gonna go with plus seven uh, decent enough so let's turn it on and off yep looks great uh for red i can go with minus four uh sorry plus four uh, it's always confusing so four uh, that seems fine yep looks decent now we have to remove it from here so just as last time and just paint with black color and remove it from the sky and stuff so it will only affect the model so let me remove it from here now if i turn it on enough you can see the difference see it's a flat image but now she is separated from the background and it looks much much better and take your time do the masking job properly and you can always alt click on the mask and see if you forgot any areas yeah see that seems fine and again alt click and boom that's fine so now it's looking much better and create another adjustment layer and I'm gonna select gradient now in the gradient you're gonna select this transparent foreground to transparent now sadly our foreground color is white so it's it has picked up white but you can change it here click on this little icon and then in the color change it to black hit ok and also here change it to black and ok so that seems nice and in the style I'm gonna go radial and then reverse it and increase the scale a bit more yeah that seems uh, real nice and then change its uh, blend mode to soft light and let's turn it on and off yeah it looks nice see the contrast it brings and more focus on the model and you can also like click on this and like uh, color balance you can remove it sorry like color balance you can remove it from her face and stuff like that so now it looks much much better and she is in really nice focus do the masking job properly and that's nice amazing now create another adjustment layer and select curves and in the curves uh, i'm gonna go to my blues and then i'm gonna increase them a touch make sure you do not overdo it because then there will be no point of adding all the yellows and things doing on her skin and sand so don't overkill it and keep it in control yeah that seems fine turn it on and off yep you can also like make the opacity to 80 85 let's go with 80 yep looks good and now comes the final step so i'm gonna create a new blank layer by clicking on the second last icon so new blank layer and then press ctrl alter shift and e so it will create a jpg inside photoshop as you can see here and then you have to press ctrl t now the horizon is tilted this way so i'm gonna rotate it a bit more this way uh, i'm just basically trying to adjust the horizon and then uh, make it bigger hold your alter and shift key and then make it bigger so it will get bigger from all the sides uh, that seems nice and confirm it now it it made it a lot bigger so to make it smaller again press ctrl t and then make it smaller by same way hold your alter and shift key and then make it smaller like that and then confirm it so she is much better in much better shape now and now go to filter blur and then go and select fill blur here 
In the filter, what you want to do is click once here. Make sure you have selected the first one here. Then click here. Then click here. And then click here. And then click here. What I'm basically trying to do is blur the rest of the area and only focus on her body. This is completely optional. If you don't want to do it, I can understand. You can just skip it. But uh, I like doing it and I like the effect of it. So now I'm going to adjust this middle point exactly on her face. And this one, I'm going to bring it slightly near to her hand. Now, th the rest of the points, they are fine. But in the middle one, we do not need any kind of blur. So we can focus on her. So when I select this thing, I have this option to remove the blur. So I'm going to make it zero pixel. And as you can see, now there is no more blur on her face. Uh, if we zoom in, you can see there is no blur, but the rest of the area is blurry. So that seems really nice. And this bottom one, I'm going to make it actually 25 and bring it slightly down, uh, touch more and then hit OK. So this way it will apply the blur. My PC is pretty freaking slow. I know that. And also the higher the resolution is, the more time the blur will take or actually any process in filter gallery will take. So that's something you should know and the blur is almost done and boom there it is. Now I know it's not very realistic but it looks really good and that's the reason why I did it. Like I really like the way this hand gets blurry and then here it just gives it that really nice look that I want. So this is the final output and here is the after before the original one and the edited one. So I really hope that you learned something and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask them in the comment section below and you can click on any of these boxes to check out more photoshop color correction videos and you can always subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get an update plus it will take you to my channel where I have a lot of photoshop tutorials waiting for you. So till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop.